But today's financial advisory role goes beyond just picking stocks. It's more comprehensive. AITE students welcome financial advisor Ronald Balzano and Congressman Jim Himes to discuss the stock market challenge. It's an important lesson because, you know, investing in stocks is, you know, obviously important for our economy, but it's really important um, also for individuals to do it in a, in a smart and prudent way. You know, uh, you can invest intelligently or not intelligently, and I think these kids here today are learning how to do it intelligently. Business teacher and stock market club advisor Ray Milo shares his thoughts about the stock market challenge. Uh, I think it's a great learning uh, tool for any student to learn how uh, to invest and uh, learn about uh, capital markets. Uh, very good way to uh, um, find out about how you're going to build your uh, portfolio after you get out into the workplace. Mr. Milo also explains the choices of stocks that the students selected and gives his advice on what type of classes to take about business and finance. The students typically pick technology stocks uh, only because they're familiar with it. They, they choose um, Apple, for example, the one of the last teams that um, uh, one went up to Hartford, um, picked uh, Apple at the beginning of the year, and Apple had a terrific rise that year, and uh, the team wound up, I think, in uh, first or second place. Students should take uh, courses in business and personal finance. Um, it will undoubtedly help them with their uh, college courses and uh, throughout their working careers. The sooner that people can start learning about not just the stock market, but things like credit cards, things like the importance of savings, the vehicles that are out there to help you save for retirement. I mean, it may sound crazy to an 18-year-old to start thinking about retirement, but you know, if you do start thinking about retirement, either in the, you know, by investing in the stock market or doing an IRA, if you start thinking about that at age you know, 21, 22, by the time you get to 65, you're in so much better a position than if you didn't think about it. So what I like about this challenge is that it's a way, because it's competitive, because it's fun, to get young people thinking about something that they might not ordinarily be uh, interested in.